Organ donation. Definition. Organ donation is the process of removing tissues or organs from a live or recently dead person to be used in another. The former is the donor and the latter is the recipient. People of all ages can become donors. Organ donation is the process of removing an organ from one person and surgically placing it in another person. Many organs can be donated. Donations include the liver, kidney, pancreas, and heart. Types of donors. Living donors. Cadaver dead donors. Some organs can be donated by a living person. Almost all organs can be donated by someone dead but this has to reach the recipient within a few hours after the donor's death. In case of live donation the donor should give his consent. In case of cadaver donation, relatives need to provide consent. Voluntary donation. Almost everywhere organ donation is voluntary. Two voluntary systems include Opt-in, where the donor gives consent. Opt-out where anyone who has not refused is considered as a donor. In India we have the opt-in system, while many Western countries practice the opt-out system. Organs tissue for donation. Organs and tissues that can be transplanted include liver, kidney, pancreas, heart, lung, intestine, cornea, middle ear, skin, bone, Bone marrow, heart valves, connective tissue, vascularized composite allografts, transplant of several structures that may include skin, bone, muscles, blood vessels, nerves, and connective tissue. The Indian scenario Diabetes and hypertension are the leading causes of end stage kidney failure in India, and it is estimated that over 210000 patients are suffering from end stage kidney failure. The increasing number of liver diseases caused by B and C viruses and alcoholism has led to an increased rate of liver failure. Overall, it is estimated that 500000 people in India need kidney, liver and heart transplants, against which only around 8000 transplants are done annually, which barely meets 1-2% of the demand for organs. In India around 6000 people die every day waiting for organ transplant. Every 17 minutes someone dies waiting for transplant. Every 13 minutes someone is added to a waiting list. Organ shortage reasons. Family consent and negative attitude contribute towards organ shortage. This could be due to the following reasons. Religion. Fear, ignorance and misunderstanding. Legal aspects. Media reports on scandals involving organ rackets. Improving organ donation. Currently organ donation can be termed as a crisis with a cure. The following are some ways to improve organ donation. Improved patient care to facilitate easier approach for organ donation in case of patient death. Train transplant coordinators and grief counselors. Improved hospital infrastructure. Qualified intensivists and surgeons. Awareness campaign. Since donating body organ is still an urban concept, there is need to create awareness in rural area, urban area, school, college, public places, public transport, cinema hall, youth club and awareness camp. The Transplantation of Human Organs Act, 1994. Legalized brain death and removal of organs for therapeutic purposes. Ban commercial trading of organs from living unrelated donors. Pivotal role of nurse in organ donation and transplant. Registered professional nurses are often the primary caregivers for patients approaching the final stage of life. It is the nurse who facilitates the coping of patients and their families. In general, the work of transplant nurse is incurred on counseling and facilitating the process for organ or tissue donation by educating and guiding to the donor families without doubt. A difficult, heart-wrenching process. The nurses stay with the patients and help the family to understand the organ donation process, which includes keeping the brain-dead patient's body functioning until the organ been collected. Role of Society Society plays a crucial role in transplant program especially in case of cadaver transplants. 
there is an urgent need for increased public awareness regarding organ donation and greater effort must be taken to dispel public concerns regarding the same. Organ donation can give a new twist to tragedy. Remember, organs wasted are lives lost. As a transplant coordinator, the nurses must have in-depth knowledge regarding the following aspects. What is organ donation and why it is needed? How does organ donation help patients with organ failure? Counseling of the family members of brain dead patient for organ donation. What body parts can be donated? Who can be potential donors? Document required for the donor and for the recipients. What are the ethical aspects? Network of organ donation, transportation and transplantation functioning. Why to become organ donor and how and how to get registered? How does the family of decreased donor cope up with their loss? Creating the awareness in the community about organ donation. Ethics of organ donation. There are guidelines for nurses who work in areas where organ donation and transplant occur. She should be the whistleblower if any unethical things happen. The nurse's first obligation is the well-being of the patient entrusted to our care. The act of procuring organs should never be the explicit causes of a person's death. Nurses understand the good of organ donation itself. How does one become a donor? Individuals who wish to be organ donors should complete the following steps. Client might join a donor registry. A registry is more than just an expression of interest in becoming a donor. It is a way to legally give consent for the anatomical gift of organs, tissue, and eyes. Religion and organ donation. Common thread that binds all religions of the world saving of life overrides all objections. There is no religion that is against organ donation. What holds back is cultural reservations. Ignorance of the process of organ donation. Fear of mutilation. Lack of emotional support at time of tragedy. Fear that organs will be sold or used only by the rich. Mistrust of hospitals and health professionals. Miss. Historical aspects. Cadaver Transplantation India. 1967. First successful cadaver kidney transplant in India at KM Hospital, Bombay. 1994. First successful heart transplant done at AIIMS, N.O. Delhi. 1995. First successful multi organ transplant done at Apollo Hospital, Chennai. 1998 First successful lung transplant, Madras Medical Mission Hospital, Chennai. 1999 First pancreas transplant, Ahmedabad. Facts about donation Anybody can be an organ donor irrespective of their age, gender, caste, religion, and community. However, any even younger than 18 need to have agreement of parents or guardian to be a donor. The decision to donate the organ is based on the strict medical criteria and law. Tissues such as cornea, heart walls, skin and bones can be donated in case of natural death but vital organs such as heart, liver, kidney, intestine, lungs and pancreas can be donated only in case of brain death. Organs such as heart, pancreas, liver, kidney, and, and lungs can, can be transplanted to those recipients whose organs are failing, because it allows many recipients to return to normal lifestyle. So guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.